Hi guys, I'm Suzanne. I'm so excited to be here with you today. I'm gonna to take you through a short 30 minute boot camp. We're gonna focus on upper body and core. We're also gonna throw in 100 push-ups. That's right, 100 push-ups, but don't worry. I'm a little bit sneaky, so you'll hardly notice that they're there. All right, let's get started with just a light jog here. We're gonna have a quick couple minute warm up, and then we're gonna get right into it. Let's start to jack it out. We're gonna turn these jacks into seal jacks. So, Hands are gonna clap together at the front. Just working on getting that heart rate up. You're here for another 20 seconds. And then we're gonna come down to walk the plank to push up. 15 seconds more here. Heart is starting to beat a little bit faster. Good job, breathing big sips of air in through the nose, out through the mouth. In five, four, three, two. All right, here we go. We're gonna come on down. Walking down into a plank. Get into a nice, strong, high plank to a push-up. Here starts those push-ups already. Here we go, lifting up nice and tall. Good. Shoulders stacked above the wrist. We've got a couple more of these. Still driving up that heart rate. Good. Awesome job, team. We're gonna move into a high plank to frog walk next. So, come on down. Let's get into a high plank. Nice strong foundation, wide fingers, shoulders stacked above the wrists. Come up on the toes, belly button into the spine. Nice flat back. We're gonna frog walk left and right, and then back. Here we go. In, out. Slow and control, keeping those belly muscles engaged. Good. Heart rate's on the rise again. Keep doing what you're doing. You're here for inside of 20 seconds. And then we have our first round of push-ups. In five, four, three, two. Now those push-ups can be on the toes or on the hand or on the knees rather. We have 10. Let's go. Coming down, all the way down. Good. So I love to do push-ups. Works a lot of muscles. We're working our core here. Shoulders, our back. All right, last one for me. Finish your last one. And then join me over here in the middle. All right, three blocks of work for you. Grab a quick sip of water. First move will be a pullover. So we're gonna work our abdominals. We're also gonna work our upper back. Second move is a chest fly. We're gonna work the chest, so the pec muscle, and the front head of the delt. Probably, hmm, a little heavier weight for the pullover. So I have 15s here. For the flies, probably 10s or 15s, or lighter, depending what you need. So. We're gonna create a little bit of a triangle with the hands, and that triangle is going to support the weight up here at set position. So thumbs are facing towards your face. You have that nice triangle. We're gonna press back. Actually, rather, sorry, wrong way here. There we go, all right. Little softness in the elbow. We're coming back all the way. We're squeezing and pressing up. So keeping the arms straight, a little soft bend in the elbow. We don't want to lock it out. Slow and control. So we're reaching back, squeezing, pressing up. You got this. Good job. Slow and controlled. Big sips of air in through the nose, out through the mouth. You're here just a little bit longer. We're moving right into those flies right away. So working those pec muscles, that rear delt in five, four, Three, two, all right, grab your weight. Here we go. Come up to set position, weights are touching. We are coming down until that shoulder line, squeezing together, really squeezing those pec muscles, taking your time, scanning your body here. So the back of your head, your neck is relaxed into the mat. Back is pressed into the mat, low back especially, so be mindful of that low back. You're here for another 15 seconds and then we're gonna move into a combo. So 
So I'm gonna keep both of these weights and move it back into that pullover to fly. Get ready in four, three, two. Here we go, let's pull it back over up to set position and then into the fly, slow and controlled. Now we're working all of those muscles, so we're working the back, working the delts, we're working those pecs. Good job, 20 more seconds here. Tiny, tiny little recovery as we move into the next block of work. Keep doing what you're doing. So good, guys. Almost there. Inside of 10 seconds, you have five, four, give me one more, three, two, let's just finish that off. All right, good job. Next up, we are moving into a narrow chest press. So our palm, palms are gonna be facing together in set position. We're gonna be down on the mat. We're gonna keep our elbows tight to the ribs, so we want them grazing the ribs. In this one, we're gonna work that tricep, the shoulder, and the chest. Next up, we have a dumbbell crunch to press, and then we have some more of those push-ups. All right, here we go. Let's get this going. So narrow chest press. So come up, palms are facing. Here we go, we are coming down and pressing up. Elbows are grazing the side of the ribs. Once again, we have that nice flat back, especially that low, lower body or that lower back is pressed into the mat. We are pressing our belly button into our spine. We're here for another 20 seconds. Keep doing what you're doing. You're doing so good. Keep breathing. We're gonna move into a crunch to a press coming up next. Almost there. Inside of 10 seconds, you have five, four, three, two, press it up. All right, let's just sit up a little bit here. We are gonna crunch back. Heels are on the ground. We're gonna stay here. Staying in that crunch position, let's press it up. Slow and controlled. Just keeping some engagement in that abdominal the whole time. Almost there, I know this one is challenging. Inside of 10 seconds, a little bit of recovery coming at the end of our push-ups in five, four, three, two, and you're there. All right, let's drop. It's 15 this time, so here we go. Come on down, 15 push-ups on the toes or on the knees, your choice. Nice and strong, slow and controlled. Trying to get your chest all the way down. Breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. We're on the tips of our toes. If you hop on your knees, that works too. So both options, toes or knees. Last one for me and a little break. Give you a little bit of time to finish those off. Grab a sip of water and we are going to rewind and repeat. Same moves, round two. All right, pullovers. So I found that 115 pounder, a little bit light. So I'm gonna take my 220s this time around. We are going in less than 10 seconds. So come up to set position, palms are facing each other. If you're using those two weights, here we go in three, two, bring it all the way back. Squeezing, good, beautiful job, flat back. Heels are on the ground. Now, of course, I'm working on a bench. You can do this on the ground as well. You do not need the bench. You have 15 seconds, right away into those flies, and then back into that combo. Reach, squeeze, the lift, keeping your core nice and tight. Remember, we're working the core here too. In three, two, let's move into those flies. Open it up, squeeze it together, slow and control. We're here for 30 seconds, palms are facing each other. Good job. Almost there. We got just under 20 seconds and then we have that combo. So one pullover to one fly, really, really squeezing the pec muscles here in five, four, three, two. Bring it all the way back and drag it back to reset to that fly. Muscles are starting to fatigue now. It's a little bit of a game changer once you get to round two. Always thinking about your weight. Is this heavy enough next time around? Is there an opportunity to level up 
You have 15 seconds here. We're gonna keep rolling into that narrow chest press. Coming up next in five, four, three, two. Come back to reset, keeping those palms together. Weights are touching. Here we go, we are coming down and up. So pressing, grazing the sides of the ribs with your elbows. Good, inside of 30 seconds here. And of course we have that next round of push-ups. So another 15 push-ups. Slow and controlled. Good job, almost there. Really starting to feel that work. You got this. You have inside of 10 seconds left. Keep breathing in five, four, three, two. All right, roll yourself up. Drop those weights. We're gonna drop and give it 15. Toes or knees, or you can do a combination of both. Here we go. Legs about hip distance apart. Breathe, getting that chest down. Last five for me. Keeping those glutes tight. All right, when you're done, knees down. Little sip of air, little sip of water. Block number two. Whew. Rounds are getting slightly longer. So we're gonna do a little core work here. If you're using the bench, you can probably take your mat, slide it off your bench here, and we have some crunching. Now, if you wanna level up, you can add a little bit of weight to some of this core work. So you do have a little bit of recovery here. Last sip of water. All right, we're coming down to a double pulse, up to a double pulse. You can use a weight across your chest if you like. Here we go, pulse for two, up for two. Down for double pulse, up. You got this, keeping some distance between fully seated and all the way down. Keeping that weight just at that chest line or slightly above. You're almost there, inside of 10 seconds. Good, we're gonna keep this weight for Russian twist, or you can ditch it. In three, two, good. All right, Russian twist. So it looks like this, we're gonna go one side twist, other side, and then a double pulse, with or without weight. I'm gonna drop down a little bit here. Two options for your feet, heels down or heels up. Your choice. All right, are you ready? Five, four, three, two, here we go. Twist, and we have that double pulse. Other side, single, single, double. You got it. Back to that double pulse here. You got 20 seconds left. Pulse it out. Inside of 10 seconds. And if you get mixed up and forget which way you're supposed to be pulsing, no worries. We're still working. Almost there. In four, three, two, and you're there. All right. We're gonna drop down to those knees again. We gotta fit in that full 100 push-ups. So here we are again, another round of 15. Let's go. Starting off on those toes if you can. Dropping down to the knees when you have to. Trying to get your chest nice and low. I have eight more. Breathe at any point. If you need to drop those knees, just keep rolling with it. Just drop down and finish them off. Good. All right. Little tiny, tiny recovery here. We're moving into knee drops next. And then we are gonna switch it up. And we have leg drops. All right. Knees come up into tabletop position. Make sure you have room to drop. We're gonna come down about two inches off the ground, using those oblique muscles to move you back and forth. Now, some of us might be pressing our palms into the ground, which is helping push us from side to side. So you want light grip, or ideally just pick the palms right up. That would be the best option. 
Keep going slow and controlled. Good, awesome job. You're so close, inside of 20 seconds. Good. We got those leg drops coming up next. Inside of 10, we have five, four, three, two, reset position. All right, here we go. We are coming out to double leg drops. Come all the way out and then back in. If you find this a little bit too challenging, bend your knees, shorten that lever, and keep the knees bent. Starting to feel this work in the quad. Once again, we don't want to be pressing those palms to push us up and down. We want to use that lower abdominal. Next time you come out, we're going to stay out here. We're going to pulse it out. Stay out here and pulse for five, four, three, two, and bring it back up. Woo! That is a little bit of a burn. We got one more of those coming up. Almost there. Keep doing what you're doing. Doing a great job. Keep breathing in three, two, press it out and pulse it out. Or just stay stationary, your choice. So pulse or no pulse. This one's a little bit longer. You have five, four, three, two, knees together, roll it up. All right, next move is called tens and twos. So we're gonna pretend our legs are working on a clock. And so we're gonna move our legs side to side, still working that lower abdominal from the 10 o'clock to the two o'clock position. Nice big arch as you come into the center, feeling this in the quads, feeling this in the hip flexors. Keep it slow and controlled. Once again, if it gets too tough, bend the knees, shorten the lever. That is your other option. We are still working. Straight legs or not, inside of 10 seconds. Stay with me here. We're gonna finish off this block of work with a plank. In three, two, and you're there. All right, flip over, plank. I lied a little bit. We have another round of push-ups. So high plank for me. Nice flat back, shoulders stacked above the hands. Using this time to settle our breathing. So take your time, neutral gaze. Breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. Belly button to spine, squeezing your cheeks. Inside of 15 seconds, stay here. Yes, you can, you're doing so good. Whew. Stay with me in five, four, three, two. Come on down. All right, here we go. We gotta get all 100 of those push-ups in. But how good will you feel when you can say, you did 100 push-ups today. All right, come up on your toes, here we go. Toes or knees, your choice. Whatever it takes to get the job done. 10 more for me. Don't forget to breathe, so sometimes I find I hold my breath a little. So make sure you're breathing. Last one, knees down, recover. So, core block, just one time. It's a little bit longer. All right, we are moving into a side lateral raise to a front raise. So we're gonna be using the core and the delt muscle. Then we have a little combo. We have some biceps, some bench kickbacks, and then bent over flies. And then, of course, another round of push-ups. All right, let's do this. Lighter weights for this. So I'm gonna choose five. We are going inside of 15 seconds. So the hand that is on the mat, the hand that's not working, shoulders stacked above the hands, knees hip distance apart, here we go. We're coming up to a side lateral raise, coming up to that shoulder line, making sure our belly button's tucked into the spine. I want you to press your hips back, tailbone up towards the ceiling. Inside of 15 seconds, we're moving right into a front raise to a combo. And then we are switching sides. All right, the last little bit. Four, three, two. Re-engage your core. Lifting, bringing back down, always moving. Restacking, so shoulder above that wrist. Keeping that belly those belly muscles nice and tight. 15 seconds left to go. Really starting to feel that effort. 
We have that combo next, so one side lateral to one front race. In three, two, here we go. Side, front. Making sure the belly is tight so that we're protecting that low back. Neutral gaze looking down towards that mat. You're almost there, really feeling that burn in the delt, in those shoulders. Keep that, those hips pressed back. Tailbone up, 15 seconds left. We're gonna switch sides right away. All right, last little bit in five, four, three, two, and you're there. All right, we're gonna keep rolling with it here. Reset, so once again, nice strong foundation. Shoulders stacked above the hand, knees about hip distance apart, tucking in that belly button. Let's go, side lateral raise. Nice and slow with control, so no swinging. If you're finding that you're having to swing to lift, it likely means your weight is a little bit too heavy. So if you have the option to drop down, please do that. If not, there's nothing wrong with just doing the work. Focusing a little bit more on the core, really engaging those muscles without the weight. Inside of 10 seconds, moving to that front raise. Press those hips back, belly button up. Here we go, front raise. Neutral spine, neutral gaze. You got this team, so good. You're doing great. So I know this really gets the shoulders fired up. I'm feeling it too. Inside of 15 seconds, we have that combo. So we're gonna roll right into it. We're gonna keep moving. In five, four, three, two, tuck that belly button in, here we go. Last little bit of work until your recovery. So we're gonna grab a quick sip of water at the end of this. Good. So good, guys. Keep that back flat. Almost there. Inside of 15 seconds, coming up to the shoulder line, coming straight ahead. Taking your time, squeezing at the top of the movement. In five, four, three, two. Drop that weight. Great job, all right. We are inside of 10 minutes on your work here. Grab some water, grab a little bit of air. All right, here we go. We have bench kickbacks. You can do these on the ground as well. So your choice. Helps sometimes just have a little bit of leverage here with the bench. So we're gonna tricep kickback or if you don't have the bench, your hand is gonna be on the mat. All right, we are going inside of 15 seconds. Here we go. Knees about hip distance apart. We are kicking back, really pressing, engaging those tricep muscles. I want you to press back and squeeze, pressing your tailbone out, back towards the back of the room. Belly button into your spine. Keep doing what you're doing, almost there. Press and squeeze. So think about the muscle that you're working. We're working our triceps here. We've got inside of 10 seconds. We're gonna flip around quickly and move over to the other side. In four, three, two, last press. Good, all right. Flip around quickly. Knees about hip distance apart. Keeping that elbow nice and tight to your ribs. Tucking in that belly button. Good, awesome job got just under 20 seconds here. Pressing those hips back, tightening up that core to protect your low back. Inside of 10 seconds here, you're almost there. Breathe, keep it slow and in control. In four, three, two. All right, press it back. Let's stand up, we have some bicep curls. So, we're gonna work both at the same time. Elbows tucked into the ribs in three, two, here we go. Bicep curls. Good. So I want you to full extension, squeeze, really squeeze at the top. Good. Inside of 20 seconds, we've got those push ups. Rewind, repeat, quick stretch, and you are out. So just a quick little mini workout. If you ever find that this is not enough work, just press repeat. So rewind to the start and start all over again. 
All right, in five, four, three, two, last one, squeeze. All right, you know what to do. Last little bit, we have two more rounds of push-ups and we're gonna be at 100. Let's go, let's do this. So, walk in that core, squeezing your cheeks, trying to get your chest all the way down, staying on those toes as long as you can. So I wanna drop on my knees, but I'm gonna push myself to stay on the toes. Little break coming, little sip of water, and we start over. All right, awesome job. So there's very little recovery in these short little 30 minute segments. So you're doing good. If you ever need to take more break, do that. All right, we are back in, we are rolling. Here we go. Side lateral raise. So rescan your body, neutral gaze. You're looking down towards the mat. Back is flat, belly button tucked in. Lifting that weight to the shoulder line. Little squeeze at the top. Inside of 10 seconds, we're moving to that front raise. Here we go. To the front. Good. So good, guys. So press those hips back. You're gonna really feel that difference. It's gonna help protect your low back. Your inside of 15 seconds, we move to that combo next. Almost there. In five, four, three, two, combo. Side to front, slow and controlled. Make sure those hips are square, so we want them even. Take your time. Breathing, my arms are starting to shake a little bit, so I'm gonna use my breath to steady that shaking, to keep me focused in five, four, three, two, you're there. All right, right away, rolling into the other side. We're gonna keep the intensity high, restack, shoulder above the wrist in five, four, three, two, here we go. Up to that shoulder line, little pause, little squeeze. Awesome job, you're doing so good. So we did a lot of shoulder work today, especially with all of those push-ups. And we have one last round of 15 push-ups. You can see we did 100 push-ups today. And that is no joke. Belly button into that spine in five, four, three, two, bring it to the front. Here we go, we're almost there. Awesome job, team. So I'm noticing a little bit of pressure in my wrist. So if that happens, just reset yourself. Make sure you're not pressing down too hard on that wrist, on that stabilizing hand. You're almost there inside of 10 seconds. In five, four, three, two, over to the side, then to the front. This is your last round. I know those shoulders are feeling like pure fire. You got this, yes you can, just stay with me. We are inside of 15 seconds. Big sips of air in through the nose, exhale. Almost there, in five, four, three, two, and you are there. All right, two moves, push-ups, which will get us to 100 push-ups, and then you are done, all right. Tricep kickbacks, knees hip distance apart, shoulder stacks above the wrist on that stabilizing arm, elbow to nice and tight to the ribs. Little nice flat back here. Belly button in, so close, we're almost there. All right, give me another 10 seconds inside of, we're almost there. In five, four, three, two. Let's flip around quickly. Last couple minutes here, elbow nice and tight. Let's get right into it. Good. Keep those knees hip distance apart, pressing those hips back. Inside of 15 seconds, really press. Take a moment when you're back there, squeeze. We're gonna stand up right away. All right, last move here. 
except for those push-ups. Another 30 seconds of bicep curls. Weight is on the heels, legs hip distance apart. You should be able to wiggle around your toes. We're coming down to that full extension. Big squeeze to the top. Good, almost there. Inside of 15 seconds, we're gonna drop. Give it those last 15 push-ups on the toes or on the knees. Quick stretch and you're on your way in three, two, and we are there. All right, team, I know this has been a lot of push-ups today. You got this, come on down, let's go. 15, toes or knees. Let's go, chest all the way down. Keep breathing, I know that heart rate is high. Almost there. Six more for me, six, five, four, three, two, and we are there, knees down. Whew, awesome job. All right, let's just sit back here. Come on up, let's stretch out those triceps. Light pressure from the elbow. Other side, good job. All right, come on up, shoulder roll back. Slow in with control. We're gonna feel that. All those push-ups, working the chest, working our shoulders, working the core. Let's go in the other direction. So forward. Thank you so much for joining me today. I love being able to lead classes, even though it's not in person. It's great to be with you here today. If you want to find out where I'm going to be next, follow me at Spinderella555. I'll post where my next workout will be posted at Altea. Here we go, other direction, and that's a wrap. Have a great day. We'll see you again soon. I'm Suzanne. Thanks for joining me.